We are speaking with Ken Green. He's a co-owner of Museum Facsimiles in downtown Pittsfield. I'm John Kroll. Here we are at the Colonial Theater, uh, such a unique uh, location uh, here in the Berkshire. is wonderful, and uh, so is Museum Facsimiles. And you know, for you, you know, it's all about getting things that are uh, made uh, sometimes locally, but also uh, regionally. Uh, leather products has become a big part. Of, Absolutely. Of what of what you actually sell in the store? Um, tell me how that got started and and, uh, well, and why we, it's so hot. We, we walk the trade shows. We were always searching for stuff, and we had started with this small, just delving into the leather a little bit with some wallets, and they sold like really well. They were brightly colored, all leather. They were like twenty four dollars or something like that at the retail level, and just really beautifully made. And so. I started asking my customers, well, would you be interested in a really nice leather handbag for, you know, under 100 bucks? And everybody, without a doubt, said absolutely. And so we started to do it slowly. We, you know, we won't, don't want to jump into it too much because you sure. have an investment there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, people were like, well, does it come in this color? Does it come in this color? Because it's all, they're reds and oranges and greens and purples and multicolors. And they are just, they're really, really beautifully made leather bags. And so we kept growing that particular segment of the store to where it fills up maybe 15% of the store. And the store is about 3,000 square feet. So that's a lot of footage to give over to one product mm. line. Mm. And um, but your store, of course, and you know, we can talk about this in a little bit. But of course, your store has grown, um, you yeah. know, square footage wise, because you moved from one side of downtown to to the other, which was a big big move for your business. Well, exactly. Actually, first we started out in our uh, in the factory, which is mm. um, near uh, Silver Lake, and. And it was it, it worked out just fine. And um, my mother was working it, and she could only work certain hours, and so it worked out perfectly for her. And then my mother-in-law worked it as well, and it's all in the family here in, in this yeah. business. <laughs> and um, so, but we were, we did realize that we're way off the beaten path there, and we got an invitation from a friend of ours to come up to North Street, and we grudgingly did that. We weren't too sure to do that. Um, and then all of a sudden we had high visibility and we had a whole new customer base and it really did make sense. And mm -hmm. then we moved to a bigger space on North Street. Um, and this all took place at the end of North Street near the Lantern. And so for six years we were in two different locations. And then this, uh, the storefront opened up where the cottage used to be, right at the Park Square. Uh, next to the museum and that was a scary move because it's a big store and it's high visibility I mean I have to we have to clean the windows and we have to <laughs> you know change things around and uh, you know display takes on a whole new a whole new meaning um, but moving there has been a huge difference um, we're fed all day long by the Berkshire Museum they just come right out of the museum come right into our store um, mm. And since then, too, we've also done a lot of work with the museum and consulting work. And, so and what better well. place to do it? Museum facsimiles, Berkshire Museum, and actually doing, you know, uh, some some consulting for them. But it's just a, a it's a natural progression for you. Very very natural, and because we do custom framing, uh, we can kind of take care of um, take care of their needs very quickly because we stock so much stuff. Mm. Um, and then surprisingly, we were getting a lot of people from. Um, the Crown Plaza, and that we didn't even it didn't even enter into our into our thought process as to what customers we would get out of the Crown Plaza. But mm. there's a lot of weddings that happen there. The place fills up uh, during the fall foliage. <laughs> a lot of people need their last minute <clears throat> gifts that maybe they forgot to bring John, on I their trip to the I can't tell you because we you know because we gift wrap everything. Uh, if need be, including the posters or what have you. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I've, I've wrapped for people en route to the event. So that's fine. It's, it's, it works for us. It works for them. And they grab the quick card, yeah. and, and life is beautiful. It's, and, and great cards, too. I, I always love those cards. Museum facsimiles. Speaking with Ken Green, co-owner, Museum facsimiles in downtown Pittsfield.